A brisk day in South Shields. These weathered walls at the Arbea Roman fort have seen their fair share of cold days. The outlines of these cobble walls poking out the ground tell a fascinating story, a story that continues to develop. Dr Hartwig Fischer, the director of the British Museum, is visiting the site, which he believes has the potential to be developed more, helping tell hundreds of years of local history for years to come. During his three-day visit, Dr Fisher will meet key heritage representatives from all areas of Tyneside to take in this fantastic archaeology and, more importantly, our local history from three of the most eastern Hadrian's Wall museums. The British Museum has a lot of partnerships across the UK, um, which are very important for us. Um, we lend objects from the collection of the British Museum, we send exhibitions, we do a lot of research together, development opportunities, and, and we're looking at some of this, um, discussing opportunities and, and thinking about what we could do next together, how the British Museum could get involved. There are a lot of highly interesting stories that you can tell about the sites here in Newcastle and of course in the museums. Dr Fisher has a true and evident passion for history like this and it's easy to see why when sites like this with nearly 2,000 years of history are sat on our doorstep. We're well, here right in the centre of South Shields on an area called the Low Top which is where Arbea was, the Roman fort that guarded the entrance to the River Tyne and was also the supply base for Hadrian's Wall. It's been fantastic to have Dr Hartwig Fisher, director of the British Museum. He's recognised the significance and importance of this site. What he's also, I think, you know, really come to recognise is the passion of local people. Hartwig will be stopping off at many more museums on his tour as he looks to bring history into the modern era and get more families, councillors and people excited about their local history. Will Fox for North East Live in South Shields.